right. Hey guys, welcome to Appalachia's Homestead with Patera. And I am about to candle some eggs. And I know some of you guys are going to say, let me give you an egg just to look at for the moment. <laughs> I'm not going to candle a quail egg, but I've got a bunch of quail eggs sitting up here that somebody is going to uh, buy for me. But uh, nonetheless, it's time for me to candle what all is in here. So I've gone ahead and I've set the kitchen up. You want a very dark room. I am on day five. Day five. This is really the first day for most people that you're probably going to see what you want to see in terms of candling. You can kind of get a, if you're good at this and you've got a nice candler like the Magic Fly Egg Candler I've got right here, shaboom, shaboom. We've talked about that before. You know, day three, you can start really seeing some stuff, maybe even day two if you're really good, okay? But day five uh, is really when you can start seeing things. You probably don't want to candle till 7 to 10 to make absolute sure, but I will tell you, you can ro really start rocking and rolling on day 5. So we're going to jump in. We're going to go ahead and show you this. So this is to show you what day 5 looks like. We're going to open this up, and we're going to find out right now. So I've kind of set up a little, you know, my little coffee cup to be cute with chickens, but really all you're seeing is a bright light. So I'm going to take this off. Now I'm going to try to move fairly, you know, fairly quick. Okay. When mama hen is on the eggs, uh, you know that she pretty much, um, gets up. She, she gets up and goes out and does a broody poop and eats and scratches and pecks around for five, 10, 15 minutes. And then she comes back to the eggs. She, she's going to, she's a good mama. Okay. So this is what we've got going on in here. And I just grabbed one of my cream leg bar eggs. We just set these eggs last week. Remember when the question mark video, what am I going to put in my incubator? Okay. I'm going to move this over to help me to see if it, to push. Now I'm filming with one hand and I'm using my candler with the other. Look at that. Boom. Okay, we're going to start with the cream leg bar eggs. I have five of them. Right there, day five in front of your very own eyes. You're seeing all the blood vessels, okay? They're really, really in development now. Okay, at this phase, at this stage, you're going to see a big difference from day three to four to five in that area. See all those, uh, the, the veining and the vessels in there? What you see right there is your little embryo. Shaboom right there. So that is a fertilized egg. That egg is doing great. We are on day five. That is what you should be seeing. Now, I don't know what else we're going to see here, so I'm going to move on. Okay, we're on O's, right? So we're going to put them back in as that, because um, I turned them not too long ago. So I'm going to put them back in as that. Okay, here's the next cream leg bar egg. This could be redundant. I have no idea. I hope it is. Ah. Okay, look at that. So this is what we're seeing right here. Same thing right there. This is what you're wanting to see. This is why I'm telling you guys, if you do this a lot, you need to get one of these little candlers. Uh, an ordinary flashlight just does not help you and assist you as well as this. All right, so there's the second one. Looking good. Okay, right here. I'm gonna get the third egg. And I'm just barely putting some pressure on it. Okay, I see the veining. Yeah, looking good. Oh, yeah. That must, that's the yolk down there. Okay, that's the yolk on the other side, that big thing. Okay, there it is right there. Same thing, looking fly, looking good. All right, that's three out of four. We're grabbing five, uh, no, no, yeah, three out of five. Now I'm grabbing number four. Now let's look here. Okay, it's a little bit darker, but you can see it, can't you? Look at there. Ooh, look at this one, look over here. Can you see all that? Look at all that. Really, really working there. Okay, looking good. Keep moving, Mama. You should know if I start talking, I ramble. I'm the rambling man. Okay, the last of the cream leg bar eggs. <clears throat> we have five more after this, a mix of eggs. Hmm. You see that? Okay. Uh-huh. All right, let's see if I can turn it. Okay, not looking good, guys. I'm not feeling it. Are you feeling it? Uh-uh. I'm not getting a positive vibe about this one right here. Look at that. That's the yolk, because the embryo would never be that big at this stage. 
Okay, we're going to set this egg aside. So now you're seeing what I'm talking about. Did you see the comparisons there? I'm seeing some, you're seeing some stuff right in there, but that's on top of the egg. That's not any of the vessels. All right, let's put this egg up here. Not going back in. All right, this is my, oh my gosh. All right, so now we're up here with the dark eggs. This looks like it might be my Welsomer egg. All right, let's turn it over. And remember, they were O side up. Oh. Okay, now this is a darker egg. So you're seeing. I think I, that's an embryo right there. See how much more difficult it is to see here? Uh huh, uh huh. May have to pull this aside. Yeah, you've got an air sac, right? Can you see it? You cannot see it as well as I can. You've got an air sac. I think this one is a go so far. All right, I'm going to put it back in. We're going to put it back in. All right, so O side up, X's and O's. All right, now we're going to grab this one, which is the olive egger. Two olive, yeah, no, one olive egger. One, one, one. Boy, it's dark as the dickens. Look at that. All right, let's see. Okay, it looks like the yolk is on one side. So dark. Oh, no, 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 I see it. Can you see it right there? Look at the veining right in there. Can you see that all in there? Yeah, we're a go on the, the on the olive egger. We are a go. Houston, we are a go. There, There's the little embryo right there. Boom. All right, put that baby back in, baby back in there. All right, we're down to the last three. Okay, so this one, oh, what is this one? Yeah, this is maybe my black copper moran. All right, let's see. Come on now. I'm trying to look and yet I'm trying to film. Again, it's still difficult for some folks to see things, especially with the dark eggs. I need to get the little other doohickey out. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Did you see that? That may be the yolk. Okay. Okay, what I'm gonna do is have to get out the little, um... no, 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 right there. There's the air sac. Can you see the air sac right there? And then I can see veining in there. Do you see it? You just have to kind of orient them a little bit. So that one's a go. Woo! Okay. 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 Here's the Turkin and the CRC. Those are the last two. So, so far, it's the only thing that we don't have. Oh, God, love it. Look. There's the little duper right there. See it? There's the vessels you can see. It's just sometimes a little bit faint. And then there is the embryo right there on the turkin. Give me that turkey too. Well, not, it's not a turkey, but you know what I'm saying. Okay, and the last one is my Columbian Rock Cross. Okay, looky there. Now, see, these are your, your lighter brown eggs. You can see that, that, that I don't know if you can see. Uh, the air sac is down in there, it's doing good. And then there is the embryo, and I have a cat on my foot. Oliver, you can't do this with me. Okay, guys, so right now at this point, by everything that I can see, day five is a go on all of the eggs except this one, okay? So we have nine out of ten eggs that not only are fertile, but they look like they are developing. Again, when, you're, when you are candling these darker eggs, it is more difficult to see. So we'll come back anywhere from, say, day seven to ten, and uh, we'll come in a little bit closer and you'll be able to see more uh, for sure. But I think we've got a really good start. I'm going to get the top back on here with my Magic Fly incubator and warm these babies up. We appreciate you watching. And I will do that right now. But check us out on Facebook, Instagram, and Pinterest. So but look here. You're just seeing the yolk. See? That's what I'm talking about. It just illuminates like a lava lamp. It just lights like like a like a bubble, like a... Crisp, like, you know, Charlie Brown Christmas tree with the big bubble lights. Do you know what I'm talking about? The, like a big old light bulb on there. See? You're not seeing anything else in there. So this one is definitely not fertilized. And a lot of people ask me, they're like, how do you know if the eggs that you put in the incubator, how do you know if they're fertile? You don't. You have to go through this process with the candler uh, or a certain light of your choice. Uh, I prefer this to find out what you've got. So right now, I'm working with nine eggs, and let's hope I get a 100% hatch rate. Hope this helps you out.
That's what it's here for. Check us out on Facebook, Instagram, and Pinterest. We'll talk to you soon. Hey, Great Appalachian Homesteading Conference coming up May 6th. We met some great folks to up in Crossville Day that came to the conference last year and are coming again. It was so good. You know it. We'll see you then, guys. Hope this helped you out. Y'all take care out there.